Good afternoon. This is your Pojo News. I'm Cody Farner. And I'm Colin Diaz. Now for the pledges and moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Oh yes, she did. Congratulations to our porcupines, Maria Lozano, sweeping through all five of her sets and winning her girls singer, mm, pardon me, girls single final six to nothing and six to one to earn her sixth gold medal, along with her one silver medal after seven spring tennis tournaments have now been completed. Oh yes, he did. Congratulations to our porcupines, Jonathan Chagoya, likewise sweeping through all of his sets and winning his boys' single final seven to five, six to four, to earn his second gold medal in a row to go along with his other additional four medals he has earned throughout our spring season so far. Wait a minute, now wait a minute. With our porcupines tennis, it's starting to sound a lot like the old. She did, he did, she did, because I see here that our porcupines Irene Munez also won the girls' single consolation title to earn yet another bronze medal for her third tournament in a row after storming back to win all four of her sets after having dropped her opening round match. Keep up the great work, Springtown Tennis. We are very proud of you. Congratulations to the one-act play company of the Tin Woman for advancing to area. This puts Springtown in the top 20% of the 2022 4A schools in one-act play, which means SHS has become one of the top 48 one-act play productions this year. 4A started with around 290 one-act play productions. The following received individual honors. All-Star Technician, Lex Teague, Honorable Mention All-Star Cast, Michael Merrill and Carolina Williams. All-Star Cast, Nolan Roark, and Best Performer, Gentry Phillips. Rounding out the company are seniors Layla Bryson, Connor Riken, Fila Rogers, yours truly, Stetson Wilmoth, and Chloe Smith, sophomores Taylor Riken, Nova Gold, and Jason Patterson, and freshman Bernard Bast. This show is directed by Rebecca Phillips and Josh Sexton. The area contest is this Thursday, March 31st. It's Showstopper tryout time. If you're interested in trying out for the high school Showstopper dance team, the informational information parent meeting is tonight at 6.30 p.m. in the high school auxiliary gym. Tryout information and packets will be handed out at this meeting. If you have been selected to an advanced academic course for next year, please check your email for a link to an advanced academic project. Any student has selected an advanced academic course during course selections has been assigned this project. The project will be due last week of April. Please check your email and for details and a link to the project. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hutchison or your counselor. Counselors have met with all students concerning your schedule for next school year and your four-year plan for high school. Students, please make sure that you go into your Porcupine portal, go to your Edge of Things tile, and show your parents your four-year plan and the classes you are scheduled to take next school year. If you scroll to the very bottom of the page with your four-year plan on it, there will be boxes for you to sign and your parents to sign. Please get this taken care of by the end of March. If you have any questions, see your counselor. Here are some important dates to remember. Upcoming test dates, SAT April 13th. Now for our senior news. Thank you, Cody. We have several fundraising coming up, so listen closely. First, we will be having a fishing tournament on March 26th at Lake Bridgeport. Get your friends and enter as a team. Next, don't forget, sponsor a senior day will be March 12th. Us as seniors will be asked to spread the word to be sponsored. Stay tuned for more information on this fundraiser as it gets closer. A gun raffle is happening now. Drawing on April 1st, $50 a ticket. Only 250 tickets will be sold, so you must have a numbered raffle ticket to, in hand to sell. Lastly, on March 12th, Market 76082 here in Springtown will be donating 10% of all sales to Project Celebration. Come out and help our organizations as well as this great small business. Make sure to follow the Springtown Project Celebration Class of 2022 Facebook group and remind groups for information. See the weekly newsletter for links to these sites. Lastly, if you have not shared your pictures for prom and graduation to Mrs. Taylor, get these pictures in this Wednesday. This will be the absolute latest to turn in pictures and have them in the slideshow for prom. 
But most importantly, don't forget, it's a great day to be a porcupine.